I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you some excellent questions from previous test papers. The whole idea is if you understand how to solve these questions, you should be getting better marks. Question number 13. A geometric sequence has all positive terms. The sum of the first two terms is 15 and the sum to infinity is 27. Find the value of the common ratio and the first term. So that's the question for you. So what are we given? We are talking about a geometric series in this case. Okay. All positive, right? All positive terms. Okay. The sum of first two is 15. That is to say a plus a r, right? a plus a r equals to 15 and the sum to infinity is 27. Now, what is the formula for sum to infinity? You might need that one, right? So, what is the formula for sum to infinity? Now, we know the formula for sum is basically a times, whenever we're talking sum to infinity, r is normally less than 1, right? So, we write 1 minus r, right? So, r is less than 1. So, normal formula is 1 minus r to the power of n, divided by 1 minus r. Right? That's the normal formula. Now what happens when 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 n approaches infinity? Now if n approaches infinity and if uh, r is less than 1, right, then r to the power of n approaches 0. Do you get the idea, right? So in this formula, r to the power of n approaches 0. So, so we say sum to infinity so where n approaches infinity will be equals to a over 1 minus r. You get an idea? Because r to the power of n is 0, right? So this is 1 over 1 minus r. a times 1 is a. So that's the formula when you're talking about sum to infinity. So that's the tricky part here. And now, once we know all these formulas, then I think we should be in a good position to solve the question, okay? You can actually pause the video, answer, and then look into my suggestions. So we have two equations, two variables, right? We need to find the value of common ratio and the first term. So these are the two things. Okay, so we'll use what is given. Sum to infinity is 27. So we can write 27 equals to a over 1 minus r. That is one equation. Here, we have a plus a r is 15. We can take a common, right? So we have 1 plus r equals to 15. So we have two equations and two variables. Now using these equations, we can always solve. So what you can do is, you can, let's avoid fractions. We'll write a, uh, 27 times 1 minus r equals to a, right? So from this, we get this equation. Let's call this equation 1 and let's call this equation 2. So now what I will do is I will substitute this value of a here. Okay, 27 times 1 minus r. So I'm doing sub 1 in 2, right? So okay, so we are going actually kind of parallel. That's not a normal way of working. But anyway, I hope video helps to even do this, right? Okay, don't write like this in your test paper, okay? I hope it helps you to understand though. So a is 27 times 1 over 1 minus r. I'm substituting this a with this. So it is 27 times 1 minus r, and we already have 1 plus r equals to 15, right? Now what is 1 minus r times 1 plus r? So difference of squares, right? So, so what we can do is we can divide 15 by 27, right? Or let's do two steps. To 27 times 1 minus r square equals to 15. And then we can say 1 minus r square is equal to 15 over 27. That, that makes sense, correct? Okay. Now from here, we can find what r square is. So taking r square to this side, we get 1 minus 15 over 27 as equals to r square. Perfect. Now, let's solve it further. So, 1 
minus 15 over 27 I'm rewriting this equation is equals to r square 27 minus 15 over 27 taking common denominator or writing one as 27 over 27 is that okay now 27 minus 15 is how much let's do it 27 minus 15 is 12 so we get 12 over 27 equals to r square we can divide both by 3 right so we get 4 over 9 equals to r square and when we square root we get the answer right now whenever you square root you should get positive and negative answers that is a must right so in this case we get r equals to positive and negative 2 over 3 so we get two values of r it could be plus 2 over 3 or negative 2 over 3 right so these are the two possible values let us see if both are valid okay let's read the question it says a geometric sequence has all positive all positive terms so so negative is not permitted so we say well in our case all positive let me write down all positive values in a sequence right so if i take negative we'll have alternate negative values so that means r should be equals to 2 over 3 correct all positive means that otherwise we will get negative values also in the series okay so find the value of common ratio and the first term so if r is 2 over 3 what is the first term well let's get back to this place now or do you want to continue here so let's say this is 3 so anyway now we could do here so or here r is 2 over 3 and a is 27 times 1 minus r let's continue here so so a is 27 times 1 minus 2 over 3 so we are taking the positive value correct we have to since the sequence is all positive okay so that is 27 times 3 minus 2 over 3 equals to a right 3 minus 2 is 1, 1 over 3 of 27, 1 third of 27 is 9, correct? So what we get here is that A equals to 9 for us, is it okay? So, so that is what we get. Now let's look into the question, let's see if we have answered it correctly. A geometric sequence has all positive terms, the sum of first two terms is 15. So let me write down the sequence. If r is 2 over 3, first term is 9, then it it is like 9. And next term will be times 2 over 3, right? Times 2 over 3. So 1 third is 3. 3 times 2 is 6. Okay. Then times 2 over 3 uh, divided by 2. So we get 4. So likewise, as you can see, the sum of first two terms is 15. So sum of these terms is indeed 15. That's correct and the sum to infinity is 27 we cannot check that part but anyway you would always because we use this formula so that has to be correct plus we see that all the terms are positive so that is another thing if i use minus then i'm going to get negative values correct that is not permitted so we have our answer and our answer is the value of common ratio r is 2 over 3 and the first term a is 9 right so that's the answer for the given question i hope that helps it is a very important question from test point of view you should definitely go through this video once again and if you like you can subscribe my videos and share them with your friends thank you and all the best